Voters in Alberta and Ontario will be going to the polls in four federal by-elections on Monday. In Alberta, the Tory strongholds of Fort McMurray, Athabasca and McLeod are up for grabs. In Ontario, new members of Parliament will be elected in Scarborough Asian Court and Trinity Spadina. Olivia Chow vacated the Trinity Spadina riding to run for mayor of Toronto. New Democrat leader Tom Montclair tried to drum up support for Joe Cressy, who's expecting a strong battle with Liberal candidate Adam Vaughan. Joining us from Victoria, B.C. is Michael Gagan. He's a political consultant. Michael, thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. Four federal by-elections by begin on Monday. Let's start in Alberta. Uh, what can we expect there? Well, you know, conventionally what we would expect is for the Conservatives to win both ridings, it being Alberta. But interestingly enough, uh, in Fort McMurray, Athabasca, uh, there is some indication that there is an outside chance of a Liberal upset. And if that happens, that will certainly send a bit of a shockwave uh, through Conservative ranks. What we were hearing originally was that the Conservatives would really be uh, just bystanders, uh, bystanders in this uh, election. Well, I think there's a lot at stake here. I mean, you have the Liberals who are currently in third place in terms of seats, but they're leading in the polls. So if they do well in these by-elections, uh, then they will be able to present themselves as the alternative to the Conservative uh, uh, government. Uh, if, if the Conservatives do well, then they get to stay the course. Uh, but if it's a situation where they do lose a riding in their stronghold of Alberta, I think there will be people uh, raising a number of questions about how how socially conservative the government has been and whether it's uh, time to lighten up a bit. Now, what about Ontario uh, in the, in the uh, Toronto area? Yes. Uh, again, interesting uh, Scarborough Agincourt. Uh, it's starting to shape up as a three-way race between the NDP, uh, the Conservatives and the Liberals. Uh, Trinity Spadina seems to be a race between the NDP and the Liberals. So again, definitely elections that are well worth watching. Um, you know, the, the polling companies are going to be watching it very closely to see how their predictions matched up with results. They haven't had a very good track record in the last few years, so they're looking to restore their credibility. And meanwhile, like I said before, uh, um, you know, who who, who is the alternative to the Conservatives? Is it the Liberals, is it the NDP, or are they going to split their vote? And Michael, of course, the timing of these uh, by-elections has been criticized with it being held the uh, long weekend. How will voter, uh, voter turnout uh, be affected here? Do you expect uh, some apathy? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're talking about a by-election dates that, you know, it's between the weekend and Canada Day. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, they're at the cottage, barbecuing, on vacation, what have you, uh, uh, have taken Monday off. So uh, I'm expecting a little voter turnout. The interesting thing will be is the people who are motivated to go vote, um, how, does, how does it skew? The Conservatives put a lot of effort into trying to ridicule uh, Trudeau over his stance on marijuana. However, polling suggests that a middle age people are actually quite supportive of legalization or decriminalization of marijuana. So that could be a tactic that backfires on them. It, again, it'll be interesting to, to sift through the tea leaves and see, see what's, uh, what's transpired and why. Yeah, the tide seems to be shifting on the marijuana issue. Absolutely. I mean, we've gone from where a clear majority were opposed to having seen the real world examples in Colorado. Uh, you know, Crime actually went down in Colorado. Or, uh, organized crime is scrambling because of legalization that's occurred in Colorado and Washington State. And, uh, you know, as an economist, I would have told people a long time ago, if you don't want organized crime to be so powerful, then, then get rid of prohibition. But, you know, people are starting to see it happen in real world. And so they're much more amenable to the idea of regulation rather than prohibition. All right, Michael Gagan, uh, political consultant. Michael, always great to hear your thoughts. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right.